So in this example, we're being asked what percent of the shape is shaded. So you can see here that I have a circle inscribed in a square, and we have this small region here in the corner that is shaded. Now, we have done problems like this in the past, so just keep in mind there are many different ways in which you can do these problems. So again, keep that in mind as you go through this problem. So notice that we are not given any values here, and that's okay. So we're just going to solve this using the variables. Okay, so for example, with my circle, what we want to do here is we want to find the area of the circle and the area of the square. So we have this circle here, and I know that, well, this is going to be my radius right here, right? We'll call that R. So the area of a circle is going to be the following. Area of circle is pi radius squared, right? And now let's think about our square. So if our radius is here, and then we have our side length of our square, we know that we can call our side length 2R, right? We want to keep everything in terms of R here. Right, so my area of my square, right, so this will be 2r, this will be 2r, and I know that if I want to find the area of a square, I simply just multiply the sides. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm doing 2r times 2r, which is going to give me 4r squared, right? So now I have the area of the square and the area of the circle. So at this point, right, what we want to do is we want to find these four small regions right here. So in order to do that, I'm going to do the area of the square minus the area of the circle. So for example, I'm going to do 4 r squared minus pi r squared. Now remember, this is going to give me all four regions here. And I only want one, right? So only one out of those four regions are shaded. So in other words, I'm going to multiply this whole thing by a quarter. And all I'm going to do at this point is distribute this quarter inside to both of my terms. And when doing that, I'm going to get the following. I'm going to get r squared minus pi r squared all over 4. Okay? So this now is giving me this small region right here that is shaded. Okay? But I want the percent, so what I need to do is take that shaded region, which we have here, and put it over our total area, which in this case is going to be the area of the square, so over 4 r squared. Okay? So let's go ahead and break this down. So again, I have two terms up top that have the same denominator, so I can break this apart. It's going to look like this. I'm going to have r squared over 4 r squared minus pi r squared over 4 over 4 r squared, okay? So rewriting this, we get the following. We get r squared over 4 r squared minus pi r squared all over 16 r squared. So at this point, you can see, right, how r squared is going to cancel out here and here, and essentially what we're left with is this. We have, and let's do this in a different color so we can see it. I have 1 over 4, so 1 over 4 minus pi over 16. And what you want to do now is put this into your calculator, because again, they want the percent. So putting this into our calculator, we're going to get the following. A quarter minus pi over 16. And then what we want to do here is multiply our answer by 100, because they want it as a percent, and you're going to get the following here, right? So I'm going to go ahead and round this, so I'm just going to say about, about 5 point, so 5.37 percent, okay? This is going to be your final answer right here. So that is the percent of the shape that is shaded, okay? And that is it.